A student investigated the effect of different concentrations of sugar solution on pieces of potato. This is the method used. Cut five pieces of potato, record the starting mass of each piece of potato, then place each piece of potato in a different concentration of sugar solution. Concentration, remember, just means how strong it's related to the strength of it. So the number of sugar particles in that solution. Okay, the solution is dissolved in water. So we've got sugar dissolved in water, different strengths, different concentrations. After 24 hours, remove the piece of potato from each from the solutions. Record the final mass of each piece of potato. Calculate a change in mass. Okay, so this is the osmosis practical, isn't it? That um, it's one of the required practicals that you need to do. So, what is the independent variable? Uh, brilliant. Well, the independent variable, the one we change. So, what are we changing here? Well, we're placing each potato piece of potato in different concentration of sugar solution of sugar, sugar solution um, and we're going to measure the change in mass so that will be our dependent variable concentration of the sugar absolutely so that one length of time well that's going to be control variable something we keep the same uh, starting mass we also keep that the same as well but if we can as much as possible right so uh, that's our independent variable the table below shows the results. So here's the concentration. So they tr they tested um, one, two, three, four, five, six in total. Okay, uh, and there's the mass that starts. So they're all round the same mass. Mass after 24 hours. Okay, we need to explain. So we're going to describe what happens. Plus, say why why the potato in that one increased in mass. It's worth two marks. I'm going to describe what happens and say why that is. So this one here, okay, why is it? It started a piece with that and it went up all the way to 10.14 grams. Okay, so what's going on here, remember, is we've got each of these containers here and we've got our potato in there okay and this is water in this case it's just water okay so there's no sugar so in some of these in this one there's quite a lot of sugar in here as well but that's our potato so what's happening is there's water the only reason, the only way that could be getting heavier is if water has gone in so the potato so the potato absorbs water okay and why is that well it's because the concentration of water is greater outside here there's more water out here than inside because this the potato will have other stuff in it as well which means the waters will always it will always move from high concentration to low and it will seep in we call that osmosis it moves by osmosis, so high concentration, higher concentration of water outside the potato. So water moves in. Okay, so there's more water outside the potato, higher concentration of water outside the potato, so it, it, it always moves from high concentration to low, so it moves into the potato. So the potato swells and gets bigger. You can see here, these ones go the other way. That means it must be losing water. Okay, so in this case, 0.5, the water outside isn't, is, is, uh, is a low concentration of water because it's higher concentration of sugar. There's more sugar, which means there's less water. And in this case, the, the flow is the opposite direction.